today's welcome song, I wanna sing the hello, hello song where you sing it as an echo. We did this song last week, so let's see if you remember. I have my microphone here, so when it's Miss Kaylin's turn to sing the words, then I'll put the microphone here. And when it's your turn, then I'll bring it really close to you so that you can sing the word, okay? Are you ready? Hello, 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 hello. We welcome you today. Hello, 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 hello. We're glad you came our way to share with me a fun preschool day and be my friend because you have come my way. Hello, 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 hello. We welcome you today. Hello. Hey guys. I'm glad you're here at preschool with me today. So today is Wednesday. It is the middle of the week. Right here, Wednesday. Wednesday starts with the W and it's the longest word. It has the most letters of all of the days of our week, huh? Do you remember how many days we have in each week? Seven days are in a week, that's right. There's a song that talks about, that helps us remember how many days are in a week. It goes like this. Seven days are in a week, I have to sing it loud. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Seven days are in a week, I have to sing it quiet. Seven days are in a week, I have to sing it happy. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Seven days are in a week, I have to sing it sad. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Seven days are in a week, I love to sing this song. <laughs> That's kind of a funny song, huh? Now, should we do the one that you guys know from last week? We've been doing it every day, huh? Here's my days of the week poster, okay? Are we ready? Days of the week, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week. There's Sunday and there's Monday, there's Tuesday and there's Wednesday, there's Thursday and there's Friday, and then there's Saturday. Days of the week, days of the week, Days of the week, days of the week, days of the week. All right, here comes your days of the week questions. If today is Wednesday, what day was yesterday? Today is Wednesday, yesterday was Tuesday. Yesterday was Tuesday. All right, if today is Wednesday, what day will tomorrow be? What day is tomorrow? Tomorrow is doo, 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 Thursday. Tomorrow is Thursday. Well done. All right, let's do our months. Oh, first, before we do the months, let's talk about the weather. Oh, what does the weather look like today? Oh, what does the weather look like? Is it sunny or stormy and cloudy today? Oh, what does the weather look like? Excuse me. So I want you to go look out a window anywhere in your house, wherever you are. Look out a window and look up at the sky. Maybe you should look at the trees. If they're blowing really hard, then maybe it's a windy day today. I'm looking out my window. And once again, I see a lot of blue sky. There's not as many clouds as yesterday and it is very sunny. So I got to look on my chart here. We have another sunny day and I'll put it on my Wednesday. So now I have had three sunny days this week. It's very warm where I am right now. It is summer where I live. So we do lots of fun summer things like going swimming, going camping, going and playing outside in our backyard and having barbecues with my family. Summer is a fun time of year because the weather is usually really nice. So, all right, now let's do our months of the year. Do you remember? We have 12 months in the year. We sing that in our song to help us remember, huh? All right, are you ready? January, February, March, and April, May, 
June, July, and August, September, October, November, December. Twelve months are in a year. One more time. January, February, March, and April, May, June, July, and August, September, October, November, December. Twelve months are in a year. Did you remember that song? I hope you're singing with me and you're not just listening to Miss Kaylin, huh? It's better if you say it with me so that I don't have to sing them by myself. Okay, let's practice our scripture that we're learning for this month. The scripture we're learning is Mark chapter 16, verse 15. Go ye into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. Please repeat with me. Mark chapter 16, verse 15. Go ye into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. You should be getting pretty good at that scripture, huh? We've said it all week last week, and now we're saying it again this week. So by the end of the month, I'm going to challenge you and see if you can say it all by yourself to your mom or your dad, okay? All right, now today is kind of a fun and special day because I am going to read you a story. Do you remember, we've been talking about farms this week, and yesterday we were talking all about the different food and the different animals that you can find on a farm. Well, one of those animals that you can find on a farm is a hen. A hen is a chicken that's a girl, huh? We call them hens. And I have one of my favorite stories here. This is the story of the little red hen. Can I tell you this story? Okay. The little red hen. One day, the little red hen was raking the yard and she found a few grains of wheat. Who will help me plant this wheat? She asked. Not I, said Huey. He was too busy climbing a tree. Not I, said Dewey. He was too busy playing with his wagon. Not I, said Louie. He was too busy laying in the sun. Then I'll do it myself, said the little red hen. And she did. Soon the wheat had grown tall. It was ready to be cut. Who will help me cut the wheat? Asked the little red hen. Not I, said Huey. And he rode off on his hobby horse. Not I, said Dewey. And he waved from the top of a tree. Not I, said Louie, and he yawned. <gasps> then I'll do it myself, said the little red hen. And she did. Now the wheat was ready to be ground into flour. And again, the little red hen went to Huey, Dewey, and Louie. She asked, who will help me carry the wheat to the mill to be ground? Not I, said Huey. Not I, said Dewey. Not I, said Louie. Then I'll do it myself, said the little red hen. And she did. When the little red hen came back from the mill, she asked, who will help me bake this flour into bread? Huey was busy taking a nap. Not I, he said, half asleep. Dewey was busy playing with the pump. Not I he said, and Louie was busy playing with a toy cart. Not I, he said. Then I'll do it myself, said the little red hen, and she did. When the bread came out of the oven, it smelled so good. Who will help me eat this bread, said the little red hen. I will, I will, I will, cried Huey, Dewey, and Louie. Oh, no, you won't said the little red hen. I planted the grain and cut it. I carried it to the mill and I baked it too. Not one of you will help me do the work. I did it all myself. And now I'll eat the bread myself. And she did. 
Did you like that story? I like that story. Now, some of you may be thinking that the little red hen was selfish. She didn't want to share her bread with Huey, Dewey, and Louie, huh? Well, this story teaches us an important lesson about hard work. If we do hard work, then we get good blessings. We get some fun things that we can have, huh? And sometimes doing the work is not fun. But the blessings that come like eating a warm loaf of bread, then that's worth it. When we are lazy and we don't want to do the work, then we can't enjoy the nice things that come from hard work, huh? So we need to make sure to always be willing to help, whether we're helping our mom and dad around the house, or if we're going to do some service in our area where we live and help somebody maybe clean their yard or something that maybe your church family is doing, we always want to be willing to help, just like in the story of the little red hen. So when people ask, who will help me? I hope that you would be one that says, I will, I will help, and always answer with a yes. That's a good character trait to have. All right, one more thing we're gonna be practicing today. We need to talk about our letter F. We've been talking about a farm. Now, do you think there's a lot of work to do on a farm? There sure is. Just like the little red hen, it makes me think about farm work, and farm work has a lot of work. So let's think about a couple of words that you can find on a farm that start with some of our letters. First, let me put my letters up here. This side is the letter F. F says f, f, f. I want you guys to practice the letter F with me, okay? It sounds like this. Let me hear you say it. Great job. The letter F is words like farm. We talked about farms a lot. And the person who works on the farm, do you know what his name is or what we call him or her? Farmers is what we call them. People who work on farms are the farmer. Here's a picture of a farmer working on the farm. That's right. And another F word that I think of that has to do with farms is all the things that they grow that people like to eat. Do you know what word I'm thinking of? It starts with the f, f sound. Food. Food starts with the letter F, and that is definitely something that can be found on farms. They grow lots of different food on the farm, don't they? All right, so let's think of another F word that you can find on a farm. This word that I'm thinking of is something that the farmer will build around an area to keep his animals inside, or maybe to keep animals outside of his garden if he's trying to grow some food on the garden. Do you think of what I'm thinking of? Here's a picture. A fence. Do you hear the F at the beginning of fence? A fence is very important to have on a farm, wouldn't it be? You don't want your cows running away. All right, I have one more word that I'm thinking of that begins with F and has to do with a farm. I'm thinking of a word when you have a lot of land and you've prepared the land or prepared the dirt so you can grow your crops in it. Do you know what that word is? Here's a picture of it. This is a field. A field is where you will plant all of your crops. Do you see that I make that F sound at the beginning? Field. And then you can see when I write the word field, I start with that sound. Field. Very good. So we have farmer, food, fence, and field. Those are all the letter F. Now, last week we learned about the letter C. Let's put the C over on this side. The C says k, k, k. Do you remember? K, k is the letter C sound. I want you to practice the C sound with me. K, k, k. Now it's your turn. K, k, k. I hope you said it. The letter C says k. 
Now, do you think there are words that go with the farm that start with C? Yes is the answer. Of course there are. Let's talk about a few of them. Now, the first one is an animal that you can find on the farm, and this animal provides milk, and a lot of milk. We get a lot of milk from this animal. Do you think you know what word I'm thinking of? It says k, k, k. Here's a picture. It's a cow. Do you hear that C sound again? Cow. Very good, cow. All right, here's another word. This is a bird that you can find on farms. They fly in and they fly out. It's usually a blackbird and it starts with the letter C. K -k. You might not know this word, but this is a crow. A crow is a bird that sometimes flies in and eats the vegetables and the fruit that the farmer's trying to grow. So do you know what they put in their gardens to make sure that these crows don't come into their garden? A scarecrow, because they want to scare the crows. Yeah, scarecrow. All right, so that's a good C word, huh? Crow. Okay, let's do one more word. Now, this is one of the pieces of equipment that you can find on a farm, and it helps the farmer take care of his land a lot faster than if he were doing it with just his hands or if he had a, an animal to help him, like a horse or a mule. So this is, this is a picture of it. It's called a combine. And it's like a big tractor that's gonna help turn all that dirt over and, and get those crops moving and, and help them to harvest their crops. It's called a combine. Combine. So we have two, word, two letters here. This side is the letter F and this is the letter C. So when I point to the letter, I want you to make the sound of that letter, okay? Let me get my, my uh, microphone, all right? So if I point on this side, I want you to say k, k, k. If I point over here, then you're gonna say f, f. Are you ready? What side? This. K, k, k. All right, let's do another one. Again, k, k, k. All right, let's do another one. What side? All right, one more time. K, k, k. Good job, I hope you got them all correct. All right, so today's activity, you are gonna need your Spot It, Dot It page. So this is the one that you need to get out. And you might wanna have some little markers like these. I have these little dot markers. Or you can have something that you can just put on top or some crayons. So get out all of your supplies and then I'm gonna show you how to do this activity, okay? Here is your activity for today. And I have my two markers that I'm gonna show you with. Now, we have one letter F here on the bottom. F is in Frank, and it's capital F because it's somebody's name. Whenever we have someone's name or the start of a sentence, we wanna use the capital F. And on this side is the lowercase f. F is in farm. So first, I'm gonna choose my color yellow, and let's make all my capital Fs yellow. So I'm putting it in this box so that I can remember my capital Fs are yellow. And then I'm gonna go through my whole paper here and find all the capital Fs and make a yellow dot on them so that I can show, look, I know what the capital F looks like. I can find the capital F. Now with my second color here, I'm gonna put a little spot on the lowercase f so that now I know all of this color is gonna be the lowercase f. And then I'm gonna look through all of my pictures and find all those lowercase f's and put a pink dot on them so that I can show, look, I can find lowercase f. All right, kids, I want you to finish this activity. And then if you have your ABC notebook, do a page for the letter F so you can practice that letter page or that letter too, all right? And tomorrow we have some more fun activities to do. So I hope to see you tomorrow and join me in preschool again.
Bye, friends.